Hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you once again. And today we're bringing you our coverage of the A50 at the Utoxeter roundabout, which is situated between Stoke-on-Trent and Derby. This morning when we filmed, we had a huge accident up the road, which caused a proper hiatus to traffic. And uh, we got a really super parade when it eventually cleared. Anyway, as ever, we shall see what we shall see. Lovely having you all along with us today. And, uh, well, rather than chat, you'd rather me get round the other side of that camera and see if I can uh, film some lorries for you. So off I go. See you all again shortly. Well, I would bring you a few lorries if there was one to bring you. Oh, we've got big and M. So we're straight into it then. There we go. What have you got for us? Yes, we can take it. There's a couple of uh, nice liveries, aren't there? Look at that. Splendid. From New Biggin near Henrith. Mechanical engineering. And uh, once Many years ago, we were working uh, up at Sullenbo and over on the west coast of Ireland. Needed a lot of transport. We ended up with our own airline, Kazair, which we uh, bought. We ended up going over to uh, Air UK. And we used to uh, lease bigger planes occasionally from uh, Dandair, we used to call it. Dandair. Dandair Airline. My goodness me. I tell you what, I remember one Christmas hiring a Dart Herald from Hearn Airport at uh, Bournemouth. Oh, that shows my age, doesn't it? For anybody who knows your aircraft out there. So I know a little bit about aircraft, not a lot. I know a little bit about military stuff, but not a lot. I know quite a lot about buses trams, trolley buses, and I know a little bit about lorries. Oh, we've got another one of these uh, convoys seem to have um, developed. And a big uh, cheery toot in response to my uh, cheery smiles and waves. Oh, we're not finished yet. Another one. Oh, well, we'll have a convoy like this that lasts about half an hour. That'll just, uh, that'll just uh, do me. Get home and have that proverbial cup of tea and a cake. Mandy bakes a lovely cake. She's been doing uh, cherry and uh, almond cakes lately. Oh, I love it. That's just up my street. I love Bakewells. Nice soggy Bakewells with icing on top and a cherry. Don't like these dry ones. God, crap you're getting. What's that blasted place they go to? Costa. Costa coffee or Costa bomb. And it's part of the Whitbread group that does the, uh, the hotels. And uh, I think they're all hostels for the homeless at the moment. And, um, oh, they have baked wells. Yeah, it shows you how desperate I am for something to eat with my uh, coffee that I usually have one of them in the absence of anything any better. God, they filthy places, you know. God, by goodness. I hope when, they, uh, when they've when they all been shut down for this corona lot, that they've had a great uh, clean-up of their premises. Mind you, they're not the only one whose premises are pretty uh, dire. Uh, a lot of the food outlets leave a lot to be desired. Some of these uh, hotels that have eateries attached to them, oh, you know, Happy Fry Up or whatever they're called. And, um, oh, I've been in some of them, and honestly, 
they have been so disgusting. I, I've not seen anything as awful as that on the uh, ferries in Bangladesh and they don't get much more awful than that. A uh, squalid doesn't come into it and uh, I don't like it if you tell them they all want people to go on the net and say how wonderful they are. But, uh, I've forgotten how to do, rather than polish their nails, they should give it a big of a clean. Not really sure what the temperature is at the moment, but uh, I don't think it's incredibly uh, high. But um, it's uh, it feels very warm in the uh, sunlight, and the wind, which has been plaguing us this year, has has died down. And uh, hoping tomorrow that we're hoping for temperatures in the twenties, even in Cheshire. Even in Manchester! And then they say we could get a thunderstorm. Well, you know, that's the definition of a British uh, summer. Two hot days and a thunderstorm. Have you heard that one before? I'm sure you have. Well hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you and uh, we thank you for joining us today at uh, the Utoxas uh, roundabout on the A50 which is situated uh, more or less midpoint between Stoke and Trent and Derby and as always it's uh, great to know that we've got everybody travelling with us and as usual on these occasions we've uh, got our passing by for now and uh, I really am going to be heading home fairly soon uh, where hopefully a brew and a biscuit or a piece of cake may well await me and then uh, perhaps into the garden for a sit and enjoy a bit of this Mediterranean sunshine. It's, uh, it's been super having you all with us and uh, keep well, stay safe. God willing, we're all going to meet up again very soon as we get back into our normal film coverage despite this wretched virus which has swept the world and given us what is going to be called a new normal and a new normal under Boris Johnson I rather dread anyway from me to you bye for now keep well see you all again soon bye bye <laughs>